any kind of race, racial slurs that were coming out at the time? What type of things were coming out of your mouth in reference to, to race itself? Nothing. Just telling them, like, you're not welcome here type thing. This is what I said. Okay. What do you mean, like, racial? Uh, making reference to his race itself. Oh, yeah. This is Julian Tuimoga. At 18 years old, Julian Tuimoga has decided to risk throwing his life down the drain just for the opportunity to beat his sister's lover to death with a baseball bat. The story he gives police when he is first arrested is quite silly. Essentially, he puts all the blame on the victim, Deshaun Horn. The Cliff Notes version of Julian's story is that Deshaun was in Julian's house, which he shared with his father and sister. And Deshaun was disrespecting Julian by sleeping with his sister. In Julian's first story that he gives the police, it's all the victim's fault. It's all Deshaun's fault because Deshaun didn't see Julian hiding in the garage with a baseball bat. This is the type of story that comes from a person whose frontal cortex has not fully developed. It's essentially saying the same as, I stabbed you, but it's your fault because you should have seen me hiding in the bushes with that knife. Julian ambushed Deshaun as Deshaun was leaving the residence. He hits him multiple times with an aluminum baseball bat and leaves Deshaun out there to die. Luckily for Deshaun, witnesses phoned the police. Julian was arrested. He gives the aforementioned story, and now we are about to watch the detectives grill him on that story. If you didn't watch the first part of this interrogation, no worries, as I just gave you pretty much all the details you need to go into the meatiest part of this interrogation. Here we will see Julian slowly change his story as he is confronted with evidence, including CCTV footage, that shows that his story cannot possibly be true. The detectives skillfully lead Julian into admitting that his assault was an assault, was an attempted murder, which can change the charge from manslaughter to attempted murder, assuming that Deshaun doesn't die. But the detectives at this point believe that Deshaun might not make it, and what they want to do is ensure that a first degree murder charge can be brought against Julian in the case that Deshaun does pass away. Notably, at the time of the interrogation, Deshaun was still in a coma and was not expected to leave. Um, and where in your room is your bed? Where is it? Did mm -hmm. I put it? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, behind, not behind the door, so the door closes all the way, and then there's a fan right there, so we're right next to the fan. Okay. On the left side. Did you look at it, see if there's any blood on it? No. Did you wipe it? No. Okay. So you were saying you only hit him the one time, and as he started, like he was going to fall, he was out, mm -hmm. you could tell where he was going to go, you dropped the bat as you're grabbing onto him, and just the weight of him, you kind of went with him onto the ground. Mm -hmm. Did you ever pick up the bat again and hit him? No, just and when I was... Uh, grabbing it to go inside the crib. Did you did you hit him any other times? No. When he was on the ground, did you hit him? No. Whether he was with the bat or without the bat. Mm. And the reason I'm asking is because what I was just told um, when I was out there is for whatever reason, um, someone had been videotaping. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was Uber or that was a neighbor or that was someone walking by. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But they said that they have video at least partial video of it, mm -hmm. and it made a comment that you hit him again when he was on the ground. It's better to get in front of this now and explain it than later. Yeah. So, can you help me understand that? So that part, that's the only part that I lied about, because okay. I knew I shouldn't have hit him again. Okay, walk me through that. So he goes to the ground, did you actually hold on to him? No, sir. Okay. So let's do this. Clean slate. Sorry, I don't get confused on paper. It's coming out. Mm -hmm. Is that still the same? Yeah. The garbage you hitting him mm -hmm. and the way you described it, is that still the same? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll start right there. Fail. You just swung. You just hit him. Mm -hmm. You're still holding the bat. He's stunned looking at you. Mm -hmm. Now what happens? So I hit him with the bat. Same thing. He kind of turns more falls on the ground, hits the rocks, I hit him. Did you try to hold on to him at all? No. Okay. Okay. So. And then I hit him in the leg. Okay. How did you hit him in the leg? S same thing. Just swung it around. Okay. So uh -huh. I hit him, fell, uh, 
he fell on the rocks. I was watching him fall on the rocks and still right by the garbage can, kind of approach him while he's laying there, hit him. Okay, how many times did you hit him? Once. So I hit him the once, and then once when he was on the ground, and that's it twice. And then what happened? Walk inside. Okay. Boats. So the whole SOS thing, did you even try and call him? No. Okay. And did you even get close to him to see if he was okay? Was that even a truth? Like, are we going to see you trying to check on him? Or is it just another big hit, and then you're walking away? What am I going to see? I was leaning down by him because uh-huh. I saw blood when I was okay. I hit him the second time. Did he? Was he responding to you? Uh, no. Was he making noises? No. Um, was he moving at all? No. Kind of. No. Okay. When he was on the ground the first time after uh, falling and hitting his head, and then you go to hit him uh, on the leg, was he moving before that, or after he fell? Is he just like a lump? <laughs> No, well, the first, when he fell, he was kind of moving, but I don't know if I'll call it moving. Okay. All right. The next thing, what were you saying? As that whole thing was going on, what, yeah, you, was, what was coming out of your mouth? Because so what happens you. when you come over here when you're not allowed to be here and stuff like that. Okay. What kind of... Give me the volume. In here, you're not going to disturb anybody else. Tell me exactly what you were saying and, and in that same volume. I don't know exactly what I was saying, and I know that I can't get to that volume without, like, being totally mad. It, okay, so it was a rage. Was there a rage? You said like, mad. It, it, it's not as loud as I'm making it seem, but I right. just can't get to that pitch. Like, okay. Alright, that's fair. It was, so, loud. It was loud. Yeah. Okay. okay, so without going crazy since it doesn't work, you can use a little bit of an inflection. What were you saying? Just like, um, this is what happens when you come where you're not welcome type thing, don't come back type thing, and that's that's it. Okay. Kind of just screaming that over and over. Okay. Well, I appreciate you being more honest about that. Absolutely. The other thing I want you to be real honest about is any kind of race, racial slurs that were coming out at the time. Yeah. So what type of things were coming out of your mouth in reference to, to race itself? Nothing. Just telling him, like, you're not welcome here, type thing. This is what I said. Okay. What do you mean, like, racial? Uh, making reference to his race itself. Oh, yeah. Um, man. That kind of got brought up, too. Yeah. So what? what is being mistaken as you uh, referencing his race? Like, and I, I don't want to say it, I don't want to... Probably, I'll say it, nigga, probably. Okay. Yeah, so I, I probably add that in there because when I get mad, I tend to say that. Okay. But this is the deal. When I hear somebody say probably, yeah. that's, that's that's a big difference yeah. in the idea. Then, yeah. then okay. yeah. So and, and all I can do is look for the truth. It sounds like you're starting to talk about the yes, truth. Yes, sir. Did you bring that up? I, but like if it's being brought up, then I probably said it, but I can't say that. Like, I, I recall saying it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, probably, I, I feel like I sound dumb, like, telling you guys, but, like, I want to see, like, going down, seeing all that, like, I don't know, I don't know what to say. Well, the whole thing is the video captures it, yeah. it captures it, but mm-hmm. I'm just asking you if you specifically remember using any kind of racial type of slur or, or anything like that came out of your mouth. Yeah, then, yeah, I probably said nigga. Okay. What, what do you remember saying? Let's just go to it. What do you remember saying? We can just... Just tell him that, he, that this is what happens when he's not welcome. The same thing, but part, nigga was probably out in there like, really nigga? Like, this is what I have to do now? Like, now i got to deal with my consequences for... Because you're talking quite politely and PC. Yeah. Right? Okay, let's not be PC. And here, everything is open. Yeah. Um, everything it can be said the way it is. Uh, Lord knows we're not PC most of the time, things we say, but... What is it that you said, just flat out, thinking back and just say it? Like, that's what I'm trying to get to. Like, I don't recall like what I exactly what I said. Like, and I won't hold you word anything. for word, but yeah, you keep saying I might have. Did you was were no, you saying the only reason I'm saying that is because like when there's been heated moments, right. like I've said it, you know, it okay. like pops out even like places it shouldn't have, like on the baseball field playing right. Sumner High School. Brawl got into it, and I got ejected for saying that with okay. other things that I said. So okay. that probably add in there. That okay. was on the list. 
saying that I said N I G G E R. Right. Like that's what said on the school form and stuff. Right. So he thought, yeah. N- okay. So that's what you said. It somehow that word gets injected at certain parts during your yeah. upset comment. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the best way I can to get it. Um, well, let me, let me ask you, if he was Samoan, would you have been using the same? Yeah, if he was white, the same thing. That's just what you say? Yeah, right. when I'm mad. Like, it's not something I'll say, like, talking to my friends or, like, around my friends, but, like, it's just when I'm, I don't know, like... Well, let me just ask you, is there was some talk that you appeared to be more upset because he was African-American? No, Like, telling not. your sister, I, I this is not you. someone... This is what you get for uh, oh, this what you get for coming here, like to my house, like, oh, okay. disrespecting me, having sex with my sister, okay. what, knowing I'm under there. But no, definitely, I'm definitely not racist. I was at the game with Odari Shaw, like he's African American. James Baldwin, African American. Okay, in your phone, how can we phone us with Dad? Just. When you walked out, you just gave it to Dad? Like, you're giving your stuff to him? on the counter. We were talking to oh, him. He yeah. said, the cops want to talk to you. They're going to arrest you and stuff. So I just left okay. my phone on the counter. Oh, okay. Hey, with, uh, you talked about, um, after that first incident, 5 o'clock in the morning, you go up, then you come back down. Mm-hmm. And you talk about not going back to sleep right away. You talk about using your phone or whatever. What was going on with your phone then? Were you talking to friends? Your, I don't know, you got a girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Kind of ish. Okay. Now, but no, I wasn't talking to her. I was just on Twitter, just going down the feed. Okay. You weren't talking to anybody, talking about how this is ridiculous, man. Just no, looking no, for, so, hey. just looking, looking for somebody to be able to vent to based on, yeah, based right on your Saturday, my friends sleep until 2, 3. Okay. All right. So you weren't talking to anybody at that point in time? No. Okay. No texts, no, you aren't doing any Twitters to anyone. No. You're not texting someone saying, it's happening again. Oh, no. I haven't told anybody about this. This is embarrassing. Okay. And then, once the incident happened, he goes down, and it sounds like he's just, he's out, boom, hits his head. You hit him again. Which leg? Remember which leg you hit him in? Right. Are you guessing? Yeah. Okay. I don't want you to guess. You don't know. Yeah, you don't know. Um, yeah right. Okay. So he goes down, he thinks it's the right, the right leg. Um, you say what you, what you said. You go back into the house. Did you... Use your phone at all after that? No. Put the bat in my room. Ran right upstairs. Okay. Now, you being a baseball player, is there more than one bat in your room? I think there. I think there's two other wood ones in my room. Yeah. Okay. So there's two wood ones and a composite. One of the wood ones might have been outside. I can't remember where I put it. Yes, shit. Okay. But two wood ones yeah. and a composite. Yeah. So it's definitely not the bat that was used wasn't either one of the wood ones. No. It's, it's the composite that's by the fan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, why did, on the other three occasions, mm-hmm. or is this the third occasion with your sister, mm-hmm. having somebody there? Third. This is the third? Yeah, this is third. Okay. The other two occasions, they ran off. Mm-hmm. Okay. This time, the dude's there, okay, there's an Uber mm-hmm. waiting for him to leave. The situation is, is it should be calm. Yeah. Okay. But you don't allow him to leave. You decide you're going to hit him this time. Mm-hmm. Why Why did you decide that you are going to hit him this time? Why did that come up? Why did you decide that you had to do it this time, that you were going to hit this guy? Honestly, because, like, every time, like, I've, I've, like, opened the door and said something to someone, so basically opening their door, as I'm saying, like, they'll just, like, keep trying to get away. Like, they know that they're in the wrong, but this time this kid... Like turned and looked at me like fully, like, you sure you want to do this type thing? So I didn't know if he's going to approach me type thing or anything, especially when he stopped and we're like that close. Okay. But you see him. He doesn't have a bat. Mm -hmm. Okay. And based on where he was struck at, Mm -hmm. all right, he's walking away from you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why did you decide that that you still had to hit him, even though this situation was going to be done? Yeah. I mean, did he, were you that pissed off at this guy? Yeah. Okay. On a scale from 1 to 10, how pissed off were you? Probably, like, not, not at him, but the situation, 10. But not at him at all. It was more at my sister. Okay. Like, I didn't even care about him, but it was more like my sister just, uh, I don't know. Okay. 
but your sister's not the one that got hit. Yeah. This guy did. Mm-hmm. And you whacked him pretty good. Yeah. Where did he where did he hit his head on the rocks? Is it the front of his head face, the back of do you know where where was he bleeding? The front. From? I don't know where he's bleeding from, but I know he hit the rocks on the front because he landed front. Is this your house? I might have got it wrong. Yes, sir. So those rocks are now, they're not on this anymore, but they're like along yeah. here. Mm-hmm. And so, then, so they're the same as those ones at the front, and it just wraps around more. Oh, okay. And then, is that the bush? Or bushes? Yes. Is that the, there's two. There's two of them? Yeah. Is there another one behind this one? I'm just it's not seeing it. Like next to it? So okay. Two bushes next to next. Okay. I'm just not seeing the other one because of the angle. Yeah. Okay. Or no, no. I just it doesn't look like there's two there. There's two pretty big bushes next to each other. Oh, are they taller than that? I don't know if that was taken. No. Okay. So you guys must have moved the rocks from before. All right, yeah. I was trying to get a. That's crazy. That doesn't even look like my house. Well, depending on when we're getting uh, satellites and stuff, and when they get photos, it, everything changes. So, how hard do you think you hit the guy? I mean, well, it sounds like you're pretty mad. I mean, upset, frustrated. Mm-hmm. Um, What do you think about all of this? What do I think about the whole situation? you so mad this time? What was it about this that got you that mad? I mean, you're 10 out of 10, which is pretty mad. I mean, I mean, I was the same mad all three times because it's like, that's a big thing, especially to someone that's like the younger brother, someone's in your sister's room having sex with her type thing. Okay, but and she's 20. Yeah, that doesn't make it. I, I know, but she can. She could be thirty, and she's still in my dad's house breaking the rules. And right. It's not even to my dad's house or to my dad. It's me. She knows I'm under her. I want to be having sex with a girl under her, knowing that my bed will still hit the walls and stuff, make noise. So disrespect. Uh, yeah. But really, your anger should be at her yeah. because this guy, for all he knows, dad's fine with it, and he doesn't know, right? Because you don't know him. So as far as you know, it's very possible that this guy was told by her, it's okay, my dad. He may not even know dad lives there. That, that's definitely what happened. What? Especially if he's walking. She had to have, or I don't know if she told him that it was okay, because if it was okay, he probably would have walked through the front door. Well, unless she tells him at the end, oh, by the way, you need to go out the back. Isn't yeah, it? true. Right? But yeah. So here's a guy that meets your sister wherever. Yeah, but he, yeah, I, I know what you're getting to. Like, yeah, he, it's... It, this is not nothing wrong. Right. Like, it's not like he's situation. done it before. He's yeah. been told, Dad told I don't ever want you to come yeah. back. He's disrespecting your dad because as far as he knows, she has roommates. Yeah. Doesn't even know if Dad lives there. Has no idea. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And as far as he's concerned, um, he's just going to have a relationship with her that night and it's just going to go sexual. Yeah. But you're taking it to a different level. Yeah, I mean, I you're did. taking That's it to... That's why when you ask me, I had no words because I know like... I took it to somewhere that it should have never even been, not even close to that. Like, it could have been something where it didn't happen, but it should have never got to this, like this. Like, do you have an anger management issue? Like, do you get in fights at school? Never, if someone calls you names? Never get in fights. Stick to myself. Been, been through everything. Stick, stick to myself. Seen, I it, know it's just like a different thing. persona. I mean, you yeah. get to the point that you're walking up at 430 at in the morning with a bat upstairs, yeah. which is already a very aggressive, mm-hmm. I'm preparing to beat someone's ass. Yeah. And then now you're banging on the door, let's be honest, trying to hope that dad wakes up enough that you can get sister in trouble. So it sounds like perception. Mm-hmm. You go back down, you're waiting because you're going to wait to see who comes out. Mm-hmm. 
you see Uber. So you know something's off. You go grab her bat again, put it, I'm just going to call it, strategically right hidden right next to the garbage cans. You go talk to Uber, find out, yep, he's there in the right house, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You hear someone coming out the slider, so you know it's about to, it's, you've lived there how long? Three, four years. Three, four years. So you're familiar with, you knew exactly the sounds and what was happening and where he would have to come because you know the layout. And those bushes are tall. I mean, they're probably six, seven feet, and they're wide. Mm -hmm. So you know standing there, he's not going to see you initially coming out. Mm -hmm. And you're starting your, your rage at 10. At yeah, things you're saying. Time, it wasn't at 10. It was more like me and him. It, I didn't start yelling until, like, he had been on the ground and stuff. No, no, no. You said when he clicked and he started coming through. You oh, yeah, started but it wasn't like that, that tone of the tone that I had when okay. I had hit him. But you got a guy that, he's not trying to hit you. Yeah. He's going to the Uber. Mm -hmm. He's walking relatively within the path of you're going to naturally walk to. It's not like he turned, you're at the front steps, and he turns and bypasses the Uber and walks to the front door where you are, or turns and walks into the garage where you are. Sure. Right? Sure. So I'm just trying to understand the rage, if this is something that has happened before, or, I mean, where's the rage with this guy? I'm... I'm I don't know you, so I'm trying not, to figure it that's out. That's never the rage with the guy. Well, it, it is at a point, but I, I don't know what you're trying to get to. Like, I'm like, just trying to understand. You've never met him before, so yeah. how is this rage so fast at him that you're at a back? Because he was just having sex with my sister twice. Like, that's crazy. You have the audacity twice after you just heard me banging on the thing, saying, like, like literally, stop. Like, I'm under like oh, someone's banging on the door, roommates are not. Someone's saying, stop having sex, they're under you. Right, I get that. But for all he knows, it's a roommate, and then they stop, sounds like, at some point, because mm -hmm. you didn't have to go up until 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And then, for all you know, he asks her, what the hell is going on with your roommate? And then she tells him, oh, actually, it's not my roommate, it's my brother. No, by the way, my dad's across the room. He's like, oh, my God, you got to be kidding me. This ain't right, and he's trying to do the best he can to cause less issues. And he even said he's very mumbling, kind of whatever. Uh, that's why I'm trying to figure out. You do football, you do baseball. You haven't been kicked off other than using the N-word that someone thought you they heard you from baseball and get kicked out. You haven't been kicked out, penalized, or anything in football? I mean, you're... What do you do in football? Running back. Running back. Ooh, yeah, I only played freshman year because I tore my ACL and I didn't want to get hurt. Oh, that'll year. do it. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to mean. I, I only know you from here. Yeah. Um, you seem very polite, cordial, um, and I, I'm just trying to figure out the anger. What What's your trigger? It sounds like it's a respect. Um, you're very big on respect. Mm -hmm. and, and I can appreciate that with family and respect and respect of the family and the wishes of dad and being in our home, um, and being protective brother. I get that, too. you got all types of stories with your family, good, bad, indifferent, that I'll never fully understand, only you will, with your sister. And so I'm just just trying to understand. That's all. all right. I think regardless of how this comes out, I think you need, a, you need to be able to talk to someone about there's other things going on. Yeah. I mean, you got you rage pretty fast for a guy that you don't even know. He really doesn't say anything to you other than you should want to do this, bro, yeah. or bro, or however he's saying it. Because even it sounds like even he's like, what the hell? He's trying to figure out too. All right. Do you have any questions for us that maybe is popping in your head or? I was trying to know. I asked the cop <clears throat> earlier if he yeah. was okay. I was trying to know if he was. Uh, to be honest, we or don't live in at least. Well, that's a, a, a good, fair question. Um, and to be honest, I don't know. He's at Harborview. Uh, he got airlifted up to Harborview. And I'll just be honest, I don't know. I, I try to ask. Um, Harborview is the best. And um, there was, I don't have anything saying that um, it was. It, it went to fatal. It's just a head injury. So a lot of times... Um, they always assume the worst, and they just do everything they can. 
and then that way they can uh, do the best to serve them. Uh, Harbor Bay are just uh, phenomenal people, and Medic One people are just phenomenal. So, uh, this the world is about. Yeah, I mean, we've had a couple that we assume are going to die, and they just turn around and tell us they're living and they're fine. Um, and I do appreciate you um, being courteous with us and respectful. Um, and I hope you feel that at least with us. We're being yeah, respectful thank you, for yes. you. Um, and uh, as soon as I can get an update, we'll figure it out. Um, I do appreciate, like I said, even being honest when we say, hey, I think we got video good. Um, as I'm explaining it to their tech, they're getting more information and things are starting to, to match up. Um, how's your family going to be with us? I mean, are they um, have any issues? Are they going to be upset with the officers and detectives no. there? No issues? Okay. Um, I think they're pretty much just at the scene just trying to piece things together. Yeah. Um, your sister's only going to have partial, only we're, um, we're just trying to understand. Um, and you're saying it only you only hit him in the leg? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just keep, just keep in mind that once the docs start talking and they start checking him out, that if there is anything else there that, that's not explainable or yeah. another injury, the last thing I want to do is have to come back to you and say, hey, what? what? Definitely. Yeah, I understand what you're when, saying. When you struck him in the leg on the ground, where were you standing? So he was on rocks. So like the head of him, I guess. Um, at the head or at the legs of him when you struck the him? Legs. You're, so you're standing by yeah. his feet. Yeah. Is there any reason why the video would suggest that you struck him on the head a second time? Did you go any higher than the leg? I'm just... No. I'm going off of what I'm being told. Yeah. That, um, what I'm being told is the video uh, that they're viewing now clearly shows a strike to the head while he's on the ground. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? No, I just remember hitting him in the head, falls on the ground, and I just hit him in the leg. And I was, at that time, I kind of had a black dot after I hit him. Scream, I was screaming, yelling. That's what happens when you're not welcome. You said you black out? Not really black out, okay. but kind of... So you strong. remember? Yeah. Uh, adrenaline, anger type? Like, yeah. Okay. Like when you're getting ready, you know that play is going to come to you, and you know that uh, linebacker is already staring at you, and this is going to be that hit and mm -hmm. that pumped up feeling type like of thing? Return feeling, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Punt return that you know, yeah. You know, Julian, I think you, you know that things happened this morning that shouldn't have happened. I mean, you've discussed it. We already talked about it. I don't know if you need to hammer that. But what should have happened this morning? What would have been the right thing for you to do? Tell my dad and let him handle it. Okay. Let the guy get in the Uber and leave. Yeah, definitely. Do I need chips or anything? No, sir. I'm going to restock my coffee. You got enough water. You sure you don't want anything else? No, thank you. Okay. Just chill here for a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, back in a second. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, I'm just going to step up just for a second. And then. Uh, Leave him there, otherwise they keep uh, getting in my office. Thank you. Yeah. So they probably have an officer sitting around just outside here, just real quick. So just be cool. I mean, you're being cool already, but you know, just be cool. Thank you. So I figured, let me see if I can pull this up. So what grade are you in this year? Senior. You're a senior. At West Auburn? Yeah.
Do the trail mix at all, man? You want some of this? I'm okay. You good? Alright. That's right. It seems like it's healthy. Yeah. Trying to, uh, I was going to show you the video. This is good, man. We always want to be straight up as we possibly can, okay? Definitely. And uh, but we ask that in return as well for you to be as straight up as you can. All right. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that you're forgetting a little bit, of, a little bit about what happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'd like to give you the opportunity to be able to tell us, okay, in reference to what happened with that baseball bat. Yeah. Okay. And I get it, man. If you're scared. Being, have you ever been arrested before? No, sir. Okay. Have you ever been talked to the police before by anything? No, sir. Okay. You're a good kid. Yes, sir. You lost it this morning. This shouldn't have happened. Okay. But the truth is where it's at. So how many times you hit him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there a reason you didn't want to talk about this before? Because I knew I was wrong for the whole thing. All right. What happened on the third head? I just hit him, so I hit him, hit him again in the head, and then hit him uh, in the leg. Okay, so take a couple of good deep breaths, because I can see you just need some oxygen. Mm-hmm. The thing is, it is what it is. It already happened, and I'm taking forever trying to get this stupid video to actually play. It, it already happened. Yeah. Um, and... I want you just to take a moment just to breathe for a second. And what we're trying to understand is kind of what's going on, how are you feeling, what's going on in your mind. So you say he falls, and he's just kind of, the way you're explaining, everything's just kind of limp, and you can see he was going. He went down to the ground. You're still, for lack of better terms, at his feet, you still have the bat, and then what happened? Hit him again in the head. Okay. And it's still at the same position. Hit him in the leg. Okay. Was he moving at all? Mm-hmm. Like when you went to hit him the second time and the third time, once on the leg or wherever, and then again on the head. Yeah. When you hit him in the head, uh, if you need to stand up, that's fine. Were you hitting him like one-handed? Were you tapping on him? Explain to me how you hit him in the head. Same thing. I have both hands. Okay. Like that. Okay. And I know, and I'm sorry, I know you can't. Um, did you do it like you're like to chopping the, to the wood, side. or are you doing yeah, side yeah. to side, like chopping wood? Yeah. Okay. What was going through your mind at that moment in time? That, like, I was... As soon as I, I, I just knew that it was going to be like something I could never take back. Like while, well, like after I hit him first time, second time, third time, I just knew nothing I'll ever be able to take back. And like seeing him like that, like I'm hearing you, but saying it was something I didn't think I could ever get back. I could ever take back. What do, you, what do you mean by that? Like hitting him, assaulting him. I just knew that I could never take that back. Hitting him again. Just knew I could never take that back. And like seeing him after the first time I hit him. Did, did you think you killed him the first time? When you hit him in the head? No. What about the second time? So why do it a second time? And a third time. Literally no reason. It was like, the general I feel like, I don't know, there was literally no reason, no thought process to why I were to hit him the first, second, or third time. Like, like me saying, like, people, someone asking me why did I hit him, I could say it's because of that reason. But then like, coming down to it now, like, there was really no reason. You guys don't realize that even now. He had no thought process like me thinking 
me my side, oh yeah, I'm in here, like I'm having sex with this girl regardless, her brother, dad, it's her mom, roommates, any of that. So that's all I'm looking at, like I just felt totally disrespected by this person. Which which is no like that is just because I felt disrespected and anyway, one to ten doesn't mean like I can do that. I know that I can do that, hurt somebody, hit somebody, get get my point across that I feel disrespected. But after the first time when you hit him in the head, you said, you already knew you'd done it. What do you mean you'd done it? Like you? Like that I had to just hit somebody in the head with the bat. And what do you think would happen was getting hit in the head? Die, like someone would die. Right. Have you ever had a concussion when you were playing football? Yeah. And that's with the helmet. Where we get the thumb drive? I think it's going to be on this one. I'm sorry, it's taking forever. Um, so this got segmented into these little groups, and each one's taking a minute, so. So you, uh, when you hit him the first time, the first time you're saying was behind the, behind the right ear, right back in here? Yes, sir. Is there any down your mind that you knocked him out right then and there? No, because he, like, at the time it was kind of like, no, but I should have known because, like, of how he was, like, he, like he took the impact. Mm -hmm. And just and, you know, I've seen this. I'm just I'm looking for you what you what you were seeing, okay? But I'm sitting here watching this, and you ever heard of the, the term of going down like a sack of potatoes, man? I mean, he just gone mm -hmm. on the ground, out, lights out. You you watch everything? Mm -hmm. You I mean, know, watch the yeah. yeah. I mean, you know what it's like when somebody is, gets their clock wrong, right? And they're out. That's what that's what I see, and then I'm, I'm trying to understand why we have these other why you decided to hit him two more times. All right. Yeah. I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to hammer you here. I'm just trying yeah, to. Understand. So I doesn't get me emotional. Yes, I get it. But I'm just trying. I'm just trying to understand. Okay. Because that's what we do. We try yeah. to understand. What was the reason for the those other other shots? Obviously, you know that you should have hit him the first pot with the first with the first shot. Yeah. Okay. But why, when he goes down and he is absolutely helpless, did uh, these other shots take place? There's no words for it. It's wrong. Okay. Were you thinking about killing him? No. Because you said you knew that a hit to the head could kill him. Yeah. But the question is, you did it twice. Mm -hmm. So was that coming through your mind like I've already hit him once? No, it, it was none of that was coming through okay. my mind. Okay. And I'm asking because I don't know. Yeah, even just him laying there after the fact. It's finally buffering, so I think I'm almost at it. Can I ask you this question too? Is, it, is the reason that you didn't, you know, go down and try to help him out is because you pretty much knew that nothing was going to help him out at that right. time? I'll let you look at this. No. So it's at two. You're over here. I'm sorry. I had just an answer. Oh. Here. Not really. It was more of that, that I knew that I couldn't do anything after I had already done what I did. Okay. Because of. I mean, that's pretty violent. Yeah. You, I mean, you sir, consider that violent? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. All right. I'm just going to show you the video. Here. Can you All see right. that? Yes, sir. All right. So that's mm -hmm. the car, Uber? Oh. Yeah. You won't see you hit him the first time. 
but you'll see them fall. One, two. Do you remember that? Yes, sir. It's two forty eight. What are you saying to him at this point? Because you're standing over him, like you're about to hit him again. What are you thinking about right there? To call the ambulance after I see is the blood. But you never did? No. Okay. Did you think he was dead at that point? No. Because, like, just because he was moving a little bit doesn't mean that he was dead, but... But you've had concussions before with a helmet. Mm-hmm. Now you're hitting it with a 31 inch composite. To your right, I mean, when he falls here in about two seconds, there is no life in him. Mm -hmm. I mean, boom, out. And it's almost an immediate leg. And then, yeah, like you said, almost like an axe coming down at him. Julian, are you are you wearing the same clothes you got right now in that, in that video as well? Are you wearing? Did you change your clothes at all? No, I think I just took off the hoodie. The hoodie you took off? Mm -hmm. What kind of hoodie is that? I can't see. It looks dark. It's blue. Blue. Yeah. It has some something in the front. It's a Samoa. Samoa. Yeah. Like Where's a dark blue. blue? Light blue. And light blue. White printing. White printing. Okay. Is there a reason you took off the hoodie? Yeah, I got upstairs. Um, I just. When I was talking about stuff, I was just taking off the coat. I was just getting hot. Okay. Did you notice any blood or anything like that on it? No. All right. Where did, where did you put that at, the hoodie? It, upstairs on the couch where I was sitting. Upstairs on the couch? Yes, sir. All right. So it says Samoa on the top. And it's a dark blue? I'm sorry, I can't. It's light blue. The light blue? Okay. okay. Looking at this, does it bring back or help you recall any part of this? I mean, is there something that does this help you refresh your memory on anything? It, I say because sometimes it, people do have a better recall. Like they go, oh, okay, I do remember this differently. I remember thinking this. Oh, he'll show up in a second. And there. Mm-hmm. Anything that you're thinking of? Are you yelling at him at this point? Saying anything? No. How about now? No, I'm kind of just looking, hold, holding the SOS thing. Do you know what, what I have to do? Okay. Because we'll look at your we'll look at your phone and see if that was activated at all. If that was brought up. I don't know what the SOS thing is, but but that might be a. Apple 10 thing. Because I don't see your phone in your hand. Did you have your phone when you went out there? Yeah. You just always have it on you? Was it in your pocket? Your hand? Okay. So when you were woken up at 4.30, you started and you'd gone up to all that. Were you using your phone then? Like you couldn't, you said something like you couldn't get back to sleep? Or you, no. No. That you were you were doing something, you're twittering or you're checking the yeah. feeds. Well, you meant like using it, like in any way, like were you using it for Twitter? Twitter, Twitter, Twitter and, okay, that was after four thirty, four or four thirty, maybe five. Okay. Did you send any? Did you call anyone after this? No. And he's not moving at all. Is he making any noises? Mm -mm. After you kneel down in front of him, then you walk back towards the uh, garage. <clears throat> what was going through your head at that time? I just knew that I shouldn't have done what I did. 
and that I could have handled it a better way that would have impacted whatever I wanted to be impacted a hundred times more. Mm -hmm. Did you realize, and I, again, I don't want to put words in your head, but uh, did you realize you had really made a poor decision and screwed up? Yeah, definitely. Did you think about taking off? No. I knew that no, I was just going to make it worse and I needed to pay the consequence for my actions. Now I didn't want to make it worse. Well, the Uber driver is right there and can hear everything going on. Yeah. So obviously it's going to be real important. His information is. Is it he? Who? A guy driving or a female driver? No. Yeah, driver? And it was just the Uber driver? Yeah. I mean, just the driver? There wasn't anybody with him? No. So if he tells me that you were, I mean, yelling, you know, things about this guy's race, you shouldn't be with my sister because of your race. Um, and I know you have, you know, it sounds like you have black friends and, 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 but if he tells me that, if I, if he, you know, fills out a affidavit, okay, a statement in reference to what he heard under penalty of perjury. Yeah. Is whatever he says going to be the truth in reference to this? Uh, you know these slurs that were made. <clears throat> I mean, is he is he going to? Do you think that he would tell us the truth in reference to these slurs being made? Does that make sense? I may not be making sense to you. Did you say more than what you talked about before? Because you left some stuff out. Credibility is huge for yeah. us, obviously. And when you leave something out, then we're thinking, ah, what else is left out? Okay. But do you remember telling this guy that because of whatever, you know, background he has. So, okay. so you're asking me, like, am I racist, basically? Do I well, not you're racist, but, comments, but if racist person, comment you, might have come out, yeah, that's what I'm yeah, asking. Definitely not. And if the Uber driver tells me that those did come out, uh -huh. is he lying? Definitely, because I'm not racist. I have most of my no, friends. Okay, but he doesn't know you, okay? Yeah, but sometimes yeah, I'm just letting you know. Yeah. That's and I'm not calling you a racist. Yeah. What I'm saying is, if he says that you said yeah. these racist yes, words... Yes, definitely not lying. Or, yeah. Okay. But I, I did say the N-word, not with the E-R, which makes it no different. Uh, yeah, yeah, which makes it no different. And I know that because of the consequences I have to deal with by getting kicked off using a... Uh, so you said nigga and not nigger. Yeah. Mark. Why'd you have your hoodie up? Bad hair day. It's looking rough. Didn't even brush my hair yet. That's why you had your hoodie up? Yeah. I usually have a routine when I get up. Do you guys have a surveillance system at your house? We don't. You guys want cameras or anything at your house? No. Do you pay your phone, or is there you on your dad's phone bill? Yeah, my dad pays it. Is that AT and T? Sprint. Sprint. Is everyone on the same? Mm-hmm. Well, I'm trying to get a update on uh, his status. You're Jillian, you think you killed him? You think you killed him? What did I not? You think what you did, you definitely could have killed him? Yes, sir. Would it surprise you if 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 he does die? Yeah. It would surprise you? Yeah. I guess I'm uh that confused your answer kinda of confuses me. So based on what you did, okay? Yeah. Do you think would you be surprised if he died based on what you did? Mm. I mean, you hit somebody. I, you, say, you hit somebody yeah. in the so head. Yes, like, I know. Yeah, yeah. Now I know what you're saying. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So what you're saying is like what I did. What I be surprised if he? Did. Yeah. Right. So you would or would not be surprised would. if he dies. You would not be. Yeah. Because I know I want to do that too. Well, I mean, because I think you're. 
professionally honest with your understanding that just the one hit could have killed him. And then you go... Because, of, you know, the, the bad thing is, I mean, you hit one hit to the head, you know, especially with a 31 and a composite, that's already going to be bad. And you're, you're hitting that, that lobe that, you know, has a lot of issues. But then his head is next to the rocks, so now there's nothing to move. Like when you hit him the first time, there's a little bit of movement, right? I mean, there, he's going to give way. Yeah. But now his head is against that hard rock, and like you said, chopping wood with an axe. Wood. Yeah. What did you hear when you hit him? What did you hear? I don't remember. Okay. You didn't hear smash or a whoosh no, or a crack or. Do you remember a crack or a whoosh or a whoosh? Or like hitting a watermelon, and you get that. <laughs> So, so far there, he has pretty big swelling, and, but they're keeping it under control. Hey, Justin, did you hurt your hands when you hit them? You didn't get that vibration up into your, up into your hands itself? No, sir. Okay. You were holding on to that bat, that tight? Did you know a loose, loose bat, you're going you're gonna to feel it. You're gonna get that ring. You, you felt that ring. You, you know that. I can't remember how many times I got pissed off when I felt that. Living in Seattle, you get that all the time. Yeah. And it's the difference of that. Uh, that's gonna go, or shit, that's gonna be a pop. Right? I mean, you can just feel it. You just know it. You got that sweet spot. And with this. Well, I do appreciate you having this interview with us and talking and understanding. Um, it helps in understanding what happened, mm -hmm. right? I mean, as you can see, this is only a two-day or two D video, so to speak. I don't know the mindset of what's going on. Um, are you trying to kill him? Is there a rage? You're upset. I mean, I don't know any of the background. Um, and I hope, no matter what happens coming out of this, um, that maybe you can find someone to speak with and help find a way to vent your rage before it gets to the point that you're at a 10 out of 10 before really much of anything. Um, but I get it, though. Going back. I hear what you say uh, when you speak of uh, respect. And that is very big, regardless of culture. That's just very big. Some cultures seem to be more in tune, but it's also big with someone who's big with family and is connected and has that. Um, and so I don't look at you as a bad person. I just look at someone who got into a situation that got um, to the point that we had to get called. Okay, but I want you to do this. If, if this ever happens again, and we get you get to that point where something like this even happens, you know you 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 made multiple bad choices, right? I mean, I'm just it is what it is. You made multiple bad choices, one or after the other, to the point that you're hitting with a bat to the head uh, at least twice in the neck. At some point, you have to be able to pull yourself back and try to do the right thing. Now, you're doing the right thing on this as far as you're venting and you're letting it out, um, but you can always help someone in need. I mean, even if you hit them like that, you can still call, render aid, try and do something, right? This, you're 18, this does not define you, right? However this comes out, this doesn't define you, and you can still do incredible with your life after this, but you need to uh, find a way to make peace with yourself Clearly, your family is already uh, wanting you to be with them and part of them, so you're always going to have a family, right? Um, and you and your sister are close, sounds like your dad, and you guys went through a hardship I could never imagine. 
with your mom. And so we're going to um, see what we can do. Um, we're trying to let them know as much as possible, too. Okay. Um, I'm probably not going to show them the video because I don't want them. It's pretty graphic. You live through it. I don't, you know, I'm not going to show them. Um, but is there anything you want me to tell them? I'll certainly do that. I'm not, I can't let you talk to them face to face right now. You'll have that ability later. Um, but do you want me to express something to them? Just they, uh, I'm sorry for lashing out. Okay. All right. I can do that. And I don't know him. Is there something you want me to tell his family? I don't know if they've made contact with their, his family yet or not. Is there anything you want me to tell them? And you certainly don't have to right now. All right. Do you have any questions for us? No, sir. Okay. Let me find out uh, what's going on. Um, essentially, they're trying to work through the process. Um, and it's either going to be, I don't know, is RDC even open? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it'd be culture and score. Is that what you're talking about? Probably yeah, score, score versus. Right, because they have to be booked in and then turn right. it over. So, have you ever been in jail? No, sir. Okay, so I think what they're going to have you do is be booked into um, score. So, score is in Des Moines. It's a regional jail that we do both, um, multiple cities own it, uh, misdemeanors and felony holds. And so you're, obviously there's going to be a felony. Um, I don't know where they're charging you at. It's at least assault one. Mm -hmm. um, but you're going to go there first, and then you'll get uh, sent up to Seattle King County Jail probably tonight, today, uh, today being Saturday. Right. Saturday, yeah. And then, uh, so Monday, you'll see a judge on Monday. Okay. Um, and, yeah, it's all, and I'll tell your family, I don't know what they do with visitations and how that works. Um, I don't think you can make a call to your, your family from SCORE. I don't know if they have that, but I know they do at King County. Um, they'll have accesses to do that. And then there's a visitation. I don't know what that schedule is. Um, so I'll tell your family just to check with the um, website mm -hmm. uh, so they can um, at least have a conversation with you and you guys can meet. Okay. Mm -hmm. However that is, I don't know how they do that. Okay. Uh, let me go check and see what's going on uh, with the rest of your family. Hey, one, one last question. Anybody else have any, in your household, anybody else have anything to do with this? Did your dad tell you to do this? No. Did your stepmom tell you to go really take care of this guy? No. All right. The first time that you had contact with them is when you came back in from outside. Yeah. All right. So let me ask you, Julian, is everything you told us uh, true and correct to the best of your ability? Yeah, except for uh, the start. That's fair. Uh, okay. Um, and was there any threats or promises made to you in order to talk with us today? No. Okay. Um, so... Uh, let's take a break here in a second. It's uh, 2.10. Let me go find out what's going on. They were in the process of getting some paperwork started um, in a transport. Let me see where they're going. Do you pay rent or anything like that at your house? Your dad? No. Okay. Your dad owns that house, pays rent on it? Yeah. Okay. You don't want some with me? Yeah, okay. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, oh, huh. try to throw stuff at you. Yeah, hey, I want to ask you a little bit about you talked about this lie that your sister was coming up with. Um, you had talked about. I think we started talking about it before Doug came back in. But there was a car there when you got home at like, what time did you get home from the football game? Or excuse me, basketball game? 8.45. About 8.45? Yeah. And there was a car there? Did you recognize that car? Yeah, I've never seen it before. Do you know what kind of car it was? Eclipse, I think. Okay. Red Eclipse. Red? Like a newer car? Did it look nice or was it a... 
it was kind of it was dark, so I couldn't really see if it was like nice or not. But mm -hmm. I, I swear I remember seeing eclipse and then okay. it was just red. Okay, and just so anybody listening to this, when you talk about eight forty-five, we're talking about at night p.m. Yeah, right. Okay, and. Do you know who owns that car? I have no idea. I've never seen it at my house. Okay. Did that... Where was it parked at? In front of the house. Like on the street? Yeah. On, along the curb? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, did you... When you went into your house, did you try to figure out who it was that, that was driving that car? Because mm -hmm. I had to... Before I had left, I got out of the shower I heard my sister coming through the garage. Okay. It sounded like it was a friend of hers, a girl. So okay. I, just, I just assumed that it was her car. Oh, before you left? Yeah. Okay, so was the car there before you left to go to the ball game? Yeah. Then? Okay. So you're in the shower. You hear your sister coming in with a friend, mm -hmm. a, another female. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear any other voices? Was there anybody else with them, you think? I didn't. Okay, so you, you just hear the, your, your, your sister's voice and another female's voice. Yeah. They're talking. Mm-hmm. So you get out of the shower and you go to the ball game. Mm -hmm. What time did you leave to go to the ball game? I left late because my friend was taking forever. It was probably like six fifteen. Okay. I left my house. And when you left, that same red eclipse was out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, so you get home, the eclipse was still there, parked yeah. in the same spot. Uh huh. Okay. Did, did you see anybody? Did, was her friend there? This other female? Did you see her? This other female mm -hmm. ever? I didn't see him. I knew when I went out the front door. No one was upstairs. Okay. At least upstairs were you in the common area. Not yeah. Right. All right. Um, and then you said, I think you said briefly that you saw that vehicle leave, or you noticed that it was gone at yeah, some. I noticed. I noticed it was gone when I had got up. Or when I had came down, I think it was yeah, when I had came down. I was looking outside, and I had noticed that the car wasn't there anymore. When, when was that, though? What time? I think that was. It was. I can't remember if it was five or nine, when I saw the car. Like when I had looked out the window mm -hmm. to see if like anyone was leaving. Yeah, it was five because I had banged on the wall, went upstairs, um, checked it out, got a drink, went back downstairs, and looked out the window, and the red eclipse wasn't there. But you didn't see actually who came in the red eclipse. You just mm -hmm. you used to remember your sister's voice and the, another female's yeah. voice. And what time did you get back from the game? Eight forty-five. Because we didn't finish the fourth quarter. So eight forty-five at night, car is still there. Mm -hmm. Four thirty, the car is not there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And between 8.45, when you got home, when you're playing the game, because you're up to, what, 11.30, is that what you said? Mm-hmm. Around there. Did you hear any voices at that time? Hear anything? I the plug-ins. Yeah, the plug-ins. All right. I have Astros, too. I can hear a thing. Okay. Now, you talked about your sister making up this lie. What was what was this lie that, that she was making up that you were trying to call her on? She just said... Uh, she just kept repeating I wasn't doing anything and I was my co-worker's friend da, 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 and I was even speaking to her I just kept looking at my dad it's like I'm not lying like I heard the noises I'm not crazy like. the sex noises mm -hmm. yeah. what would be her reason to be dishonest to us I mean after all of this it seems so no, that's what I was telling her too in front of my dad like you're really gonna lie for this kid over me like your brother that's been through hell and back with you? Nah. Is she... Would she be worried? Is she going to get kicked out if she's no. found out with another guy? Does she get loss of money from dad? Is there... No. Is she just worried about respect? I mean, to, to lie so boldly, mm -hmm. why would she continue? I mean, what is it for her? That's, I have no idea. That's what I was asking her, too, like, or, if, or you're, you're gonna lie over family, like and now that it took this far, you're still gonna lie. Like you see me get cuffed, put in the car, and everything, you're still gonna lie. Like, what's a benefit? Do you, can you think of any benefit for her not to be honest? No, like not seeing. Like there's already a guy there when there shouldn't be. So I don't know why. Like that's all I could see is not trying to get in more trouble, saying like that they were having sex against. 
third time now that your brother heard this type thing? Third time? There's only two. Yeah, so that would be third. Oh, third event as far yeah. as person, yeah. not third time that night. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks for correcting me. And then uh, while you guys were having this conversation inside, was she throwing any names out or anything like that on who this character is? No. I was just trying to figure out exactly what you just said. I'm trying to figure out if there would be a reason for her to make something up. All right, man. Mm -hmm. Was it two twenty? Yeah, two twenty. Two twenty. Hey, uh, a partner here has some phones. So your mom, or your, your dad, can you read my handwriting? Yeah. So uh, that's your dad's phone number, and that's your grandma's phone number, okay. Juno. Because um, obviously we have your phone, um, and since that's not going with you, you can't use your phone in the jail. Um, when you do get there, uh, at least those are two things. Now you get the new phone X. Yeah. Is that face recognition only? Is that... Is that what the X does? Yeah. And then what happens if you don't have your face? Like it's too dark and you can't see it. Is there a passcode, like a phrase? How does that work? Is that numbers or is that a drawing? Numbers. Numbers? Okay. Uh, what we would like to do is get that so we don't have to do your phone thing. Um, just to kind of confirm things that you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's your password? 635. 635. 403. What is that? 635. 402. 402. My school number. Your school number? Like, it used to be my number to get, like, lunch and stuff when I was in my elementary. Easy to remember, huh? Really? So when you went to lunch, you just give your student ID number? Type in your number on a little pad and then walk up to the thing and grab whatever one you want, like whatever type of food. Oh, so to oh, six three five four zero two, and then it unlocks. Yeah. Oh. So, have you had any issues with it working with your face? Mm -mm. So, what if you were in classes? Um, you probably would have to do the face recognition thing with your glasses on. Oh, most likely. How dark has it gotten that it still worked? Mm -hmm. So you can have a pitch black room. You just gotta have your brightness up, and then it'll fully. It'll still work. Yeah. Because it illuminates from the light that's on the screen mm -hmm. itself. I guess. Have you ever had it not work? Uh, yeah. Oh. All right. Um, so, is there going to be anything on your phone that is going to be problematic for this? That's going to conflict with what you told us? No. Um, let me ask you: Did you delete anything from that phone after the incident? No. Did you get off? Did you tell your past? Does your mom or dad or sister know your password? Uh, no. So the only one that would have been in it would have been you. Yeah. Okay. So because what happens is when they look at the phone, um, everything's kind of time stamped, right? It's mm -hmm. just it's just a computer, just tiny. Um, after the incident, they're not going to see anything being deleted because even though you delete, it goes into what's called a reverse cache on yeah. the back. And um, that cache will kind of still have everything that got deleted. Yeah. Is so it? That, there's going to be a video of me basically recording him saying, like, just what I was saying, saying, like, this is what happens. Don't ever come back and stuff like that. That There's going to be a video of that? Mm -hmm. Okay, talk, talk to me through that. How, how did that happen? Because that's new. Because when I was standing there, I was basically taking a video. So when I went inside, I could, like, show my sister. So she go out and help him, and then I tried to delete it. Oh, when you're, after you hit him, yeah. and he's on the ground, him like him, I did see at one point you're leaning, it looked like you were doing something. Mm -hmm. Is that what you were doing? Mm -hmm. So it wasn't that you were doing SOS, you were doing video. Mm -hmm. And what were you telling him on that video? Just like this is what happens when you come and disrespect my household, some other things, I can't remember what I said. Okay, and then you tried to delete that video? Yeah. How did you try to delete it? Uh, went to my gallery and just deleted it. Okay, so that will be on in the deleted yeah. cache. Any text messages that you deleted no. that we're going to find in that cache? Any photos that we're going to delete? No. 
Did you show that to your sister? Yeah. What did she say? She just said, um, I'll have to call the cops. Obviously, it's hurt. And while she was running down the stairs to help him. Okay. How come you didn't bring that up before? Wrong. I'm going to ask you again then, because it seems redundant, but it seems like we need to. Is there anything else I'm going to find out later that you haven't fully told us? Yeah, like I said, how it started. Um, me, like the bat, sitting in the bat there and stuff, that then it happened. I came out the garage, went over to the fence, like, and, like you know, I said I was standing right there. Yeah, so I went over to the fence. Um, seen him come out and then I was on the other side so I was um, on the next neighbor's yard trying to peek through the fence to see and he was coming down and then he came out and I was behind him and that's when I hit him okay. so he didn't even know you were there because I was like what's good um, duh, why are you coming down the side of the house whatever and he kind of mumbled and was just looking at me and that's when I hit him so, where were you? Right there. Right here. You can use the pen if you want to. Yep. Oh, yeah. Right, right. right here. That's you? Yeah. Do you want to put me so I don't get confused? Okay. Right here, sorry. That's me, you I, on this side of the fence. Yeah. And then I came right here. Uh -huh. And then he came right here. And then we were right here. And then I kind of moved. I kept walking. So he was coming right here, coming out, and I was like, who the fuck are you, and stuff, and he stopped, and then I kept walking, and then as he came out, he was walking, and I was kind of right here, not walking, but, like, standing there, like, saying, like, who are you, like, why the fuck are you at my house and shit, why are you messing with my sister and stuff, and then he just kept, uh, just, like, nodding, kind of, he was kind of turned, like I said, and we were just looking at each other, and then I had hit him at that point, and then that's when he fell, um, hit him in the leg, hit him again. And then uh, when I was standing there, I took in the video, went inside. And then so, just so I can hear this, right? He, is this gate closed? This yeah. door gate? And you're over here, mm -hmm. and so I walk over hidden here. from where he could see you as he walks out. No, because he, he was coming down right here, right. and then I had walked. So he had to have seen me walk in front of and then I went right here. Well, but let's be honest. You moved in a spot that is a blind spot to him. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. I, so. I, and you guys didn't have any conversation prior to you walking past here. No. Okay. Besides me saying like, "Who the fuck is this? Like, why are you in my house and stuff?" And then I went right here, and then like I seen him, and I stopped right here, and I was like, "The fuck! I must just go back to the front." Went back to the front, and then that's when he was right here. This is only like, like eight feet. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that big. So he walks out. Is the gate closed or open? Open, but he doesn't walk out. So like, so he doesn't walk coming, out. So yeah. he's coming down. I'm walking past. We see each other. He opens it, and then I come back around because he's opening. I'm trying to catch him as he opens the door. Were you thinking he was going to jump or something? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. All right. So he opens it. Now he's not going to jump. So you know he's not going to jump. Mm -hmm. He starts walking towards the stands, Uber. Stands there. So he stand, he opens it, and I'm walking back as okay. he opens it. So he opens, as soon as he fully opens it, I'm right, squared in front of him. Okay. Who the fuck are you? Are you now house? you hold the bat. Yeah. If that's the bat, how are you holding it? With my left hand like this. Okay. And I was like, well, who are you? All the fuck are you at my house? Da, da, da. He starts approaching me, and I kind of go like this, and he's keep walking, and while he's walking, um, he stops, and that's when he was like, um, are you sure you want to get into this little bro? Da, da, da. And then I just whacked him. Uh, that's when he fell. Well, if we're being more honest, did you hit him with the left or the right? Because he's walking away at this point. So I'm like this, walk over, right here. He comes out, I come out like this. Who the fuck are you? Da -da -da. Side stepping, because I know he has to get that way. Side stepping, da -da -da. In the bats like, like this, and right here. And then when me and him turned like right about here, like he was kind of like, I was literally squared up like this. You sure you want to do this little row? And I just went like that. And then um, when he got on the ground, had the bat, hit him in the leg with both hands like this, hit him again in the head. So why lie to us? 
that I was wrong the whole time, which doesn't make any sense because that just is another wrong, correct? Well, wrong is wrong, and it is what it is. But okay. what? Why lie to us? Let's say this guy lives, right? Let's let's hope that he lives, right? Mm-hmm. He's going to have a conversation about what he remembers. Yeah. So, is that what he's going to remember? Is as he's walking out, you coming up, you're coming around from his left to his right in front of him. Because mm-hmm. he's not trying to hurt you; he's just trying to get to his yeah. Uber, right? Because. Mm-hmm. For all intents and purposes, what I'm hearing you say is you're going to smack them one way or the other. This was not a maybe. This was not a could have. This was a I was going to do the beat down today. If you didn't stop and tell me if, if I was sure I wanted to do this, then nothing would happen. If you kept walking, I would just do the same thing I did all the last few times. Sit there and make sure he leaves. Run up. Yeah, my dad's ear off. But why him? I don't, I don't know what he's going to do after he tells me, are you sure you want to do this? Cause but you're but that, you're going off on him, yeah, right? You're yelling. I'm you're, asking him. Yeah, 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 asking him like that? You're going off on him. I'm asking him why he's at my house. And how, how's your tone? Out. How's your tone with him? We're, like this. There's no yelling. He's We're looking right at each other. Why are you at my so house? So you're calm. Not Just like this. Not This isn't calm, but this is how I was talking, yeah. And with that? Yeah. So he knows that he... He's going to get whacked. No, that he knows that he's wrong. But he has no weapons. Yeah. He's not that much bigger than you. Yeah. Right? Let's be honest. He's really not that much bigger than yes. you. You'll see. When you see him, he's bigger than me. Okay, a couple inches. Not yeah. Right? Sir. Two, three inches. It's not like he looks like the Incredible yeah. Hulk and yeah. his muscles are out to here. Yeah. And it doesn't change the situation either way of his well, size. Or to be honest... It sounds like you're going to hit him in the melon one way. This yeah, guy was going to hit him one way or the other. Yeah, I could see. I mean, you're saying that. He, yeah. Because you said, as he's saying, you shouldn't want to do this. Because he's probably thinking, what the hell? You got this bat. Are you yeah, sure yeah. you so want to he, do he's this? He's thinking that, right? So he stops and gets whacked right. in the head. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's thinking, yeah. Because he doesn't try to hit you. I'm going to stop and he's then look at him thinking, and let him hit me. Well, the, the yeah, he's thinking, that's what you're saying, though, because yeah. he's sitting here thinking that you reacted. You you responded faster than he could react. I mean, you hit yeah, him so yeah. hard, so fast that he couldn't even react. He couldn't put his hand sure, up because you were there, and you know that he couldn't react, and that that I hit him so fast, huh? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, because that's what you just said, though. So you. Don't well, that's know. what I'm trying to understand. You said his hands are in his pocket when he's falling down. We're looking at you said that the, the, I hit him without him having no reaction, so you knew, right? I'm asking. Now you don't know. But are you mad? Asking me. I'm confused. Uh, like, I'm asking which, you. Which side? Did he? Was he even able to put his hand up to deflect? I don't, I don't know. How am I supposed to know if he's? Because he said his hands are in his pockets when he goes down. Mm-hmm. Then I said his hands were in his pockets when he was walking out. I never said his hands were in his pockets when he goes down. Hmm. But obviously. In, in your opinion, yeah. Okay. And I think you talked about this before, but he, he didn't know you were going to hit him with the bat. Mm-hmm. I mean, it was kind of like I mean, yeah, just because I had it doesn't mean he knew. Yeah. And this whole situation, from the time that you were behind the fence mm-hmm. to when um, you were videotaping, yeah. How much time do you think even passed? I mean, uh, it was it was pretty quick. Mm-hmm. You know. Did you take that videotape for like some kind of? Uh, don't bullshit me here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you take that as uh, like a trophy type of thing? No, sir. Okay. You took it to show your sister what what you'd done. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you just go get her and bring her out? Because I didn't want to go back outside to what I had done to what I knew that I was going to have to take consequences for. Mm-hmm. Well, and I'm just going to ask you for the last time. Do you think the last time you hit him? Yeah. Okay. And I'm, I'm just trying to understand it, okay? Yes, and I can tell you we're getting a little upset because yes. people want to kind of understand where you're coming from. But when you struck him that second time, and then the third time, mm-hmm. especially when you hit him in the head, the, the third strike in the head, I mean, that's not a, that's not a light blow hit, okay? Yes, like we talked about before, it was violent, mm-hmm. okay? The reason you did that was because it was like, fuck, I'm already this far, I might as well hit him again. 
excuse my language, but you know, I mean, why? I just don't understand why you would hit him again, yeah, I don't especially know. in the head, as hard as you did. No, I don't understand either, and it's something it's been, I'm not to live with forever. Uh-huh. But you understand, I could kill him. Right? Yeah, and I understand that I could have killed him simply with the one hit. Okay. I mean, and again, it's, this isn't like t- I'm not trying to belittle anybody. Yeah. I'm just I maybe throw a, an example at you, but even when we're playing baseball, you know. Yeah. That's why catchers have helmets. When you're when you're swinging that bat. Yeah, it's a lot of force coming through there, correct? Definitely. Um, so there's no doubt in my mind that you that you that you knew that that could have could have hurt him and killed him. Definitely, I wasn't thinking it like that because I probably wouldn't have done it and made the bad choice that I did. But I I knew, mm-hmm. definitely knew. Right. And then, at what point in time did you try to delete the video? When, when was it? Um, when I was sitting there waiting to be talked to about the cops. Okay. And the reason that you tried to delete it again, or you did delete it? Mm-hmm. To, the reason what? The reason why you did delete it? Yeah, it's, I knew that, like, that's just another wrong. Like, why would you record? No matter what my reason is, yeah. it's going to just look like no matter what that I was trying to get, like you said, like a trophy from uh-huh. my action. Right. There's, there's people out there that do that all the time, though. You know, Definitely. You know that. There's yeah. people on... On uh, well, it's YouTube, and, you know, they, they they think it's the Fight Club or whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. I can't remember the exact term for it, but they videotape this stuff, and they seem to get pleasure from people getting hurt. You know, mm-hmm. so. All right. Um, and nothing else. You everything. I mean, right now, everything you're telling us is the truth. There's nothing else there. Let me ask you about the hoodie thing, though. Okay, mm-hmm. I know you say you had bad hair today, but this is the deal. If if I was in your predicament, I don't think I'd be worried about my hair, mm-hmm. okay? Because obviously you had other things going through your mind, mm-hmm. all right? Did you have the hoodie up because you were trying to hide a little bit? No, I honestly didn't. Like, like seriously didn't. I literally took the hoodie off because I was well, on. Oh, you're saying on? Yeah, yeah. When you were outside and your hoodie portion yeah. was up. No, there's there's nothing to hide from. I mean, the kid's well, gonna be laying on my front. No, no, I get it. I get it. I'm talking about beforehand because you knew he was coming out the back. Yeah. Did you hear the back slider opening? No. Okay. You just knew that that's the direction he would probably come. Yeah. Because the Uber definitely. was there. Yeah. yeah okay. So, but but there's time to hide when you went around by your neighbor's uh, yeah, your neighbor's yard. Right there was no hiding. I was just trying to see where he was. Okay. So it wasn't putting up the hoodie. Yeah. And, Crouch around the side, wait for him to come out and whack him. No. It didn't happen that way. No. All right. What was getting you upset just a little bit ago? Because I saw your demeanor, it would just change and you were getting pissed. Not really pissed, I was just like repeating the same thing. Like, especially when me knowing I'm wrong. Okay. All right. This is the I get it. Everybody makes mistakes. This is just a huge mistake. Okay? It is. We made bad choices. I'm not going to preach it. I'm not your dad. Yeah. All right? I just try to make sense of things. All right? Um, all right. I think what they're trying to do is just locate uh, a car to be able to take up the score. All right? So, if we have any other questions, you cool with us coming up and I'm talking to you? Okay. Uh, I'm not sure that's going to happen. This may be the last time you guys that you talk to us. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to talk to your sister. I want to talk to your dad. I want to talk to your uh, your stepmom. See if there's any differences here. Mm-hmm. Um, and if something really weird pops up, I may need to maybe to run up to either score or up to. Uh, on the weekends, they usually usually go to Seattle, the King County Jail in Seattle. So. And then what happens is, for the week, mm-hmm. then they transfer you back over to Kent, the RJC. It's usually what happens. Yeah. Um, but either way, um, we may end up coming and talking to you. Is there anything that you, anything else that you're, do you think your sister will say to us that might be fictitious? No. All right, just the situation with this coworker yeah. issue? Mm-hmm. And were the other guys that she was with, were they uh, co-workers as well? I honestly have no clue. You don't have a clue? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Let me go see where these guys are at.
What's the code of your phone again? 635403. Okay. The, uh, now is that, you just pushing those numbers? Yeah. It's just those numbers. You don't do any kind of, no. there's no design, I don't like that. Okay. Thanks, bud. Mm -hmm. Sorry, figure out. Um, you have a bag with you? Huh? You have a bag with you? No. All right. So what we'll do is um, we'll put this in your pocket, and we'll tell the officer it's in your pocket, so he knows. Um, and then you can, when you get to the jail, they'll take off your purse and all that stuff. But you can ask them later because uh, everything goes with you. Okay. Okay. Um, you can. Uh, yeah. So is there any names on here? No, thank you. You good? Thank you. Uh -huh. Julian was sentenced to 13 years in prison for aggravated assault and for malicious assault, which is Washington's hate crime law. Luckily for everyone, including the perpetrator, Tuimuga in this case, Dashan, the victim, did pull through. He managed to survive. Had Dashan actually passed away, Tuimuga would be looking at a first-degree murder charge and could spend the rest of his life in prison. At present, Tuimuga only has to spend over a decade in prison for his attempted murder of the man who slept with his sister. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. So many of you are not subscribed. I mean, I see it in my statistics. And that makes me really sad. See you guys in the next video. I hope. Peace out, wildcats. On a final note, if you're making a decent enough income to where your bank account balance is always positive, but you're not investing your money, you're hurting your future self. Inflation is going to destroy many people's wealth over the coming years, but it doesn't have to happen to you. Put your money to work for you with stock and options. After I started this YouTube channel, I've been trading a lot less than before. Whereas before I was trading every day, now I only make trades of the highest conviction. In the last 90 days, all of my trades have been winners. If you wish to join me, visit the link below. When you sign up, you'll receive an email every time I plan to open a trade, just copy what I do, and you don't need to spend any time researching investments. I'll even help you get your trading account set up if you don't have one already. You should check out the link below for sure.